Taking a look at question 6, we're going to begin balancing our equation by counting the number of atoms of each molecule. So right here we have potassium. There is one potassium atom, one nitrogen. We have three oxygens here, and then we have three oxygens over here as well. So we have a total of six oxygens on the reactant side of the equation. We have two hydrogens, and we have one carbon because there is no subscript. On the product side of our equation, we have two potassiums, K2. We have one nitrogen, there is no subscript. We have three oxygens here and three oxygens here, so we have a total of six. We have one hydrogen and we have one carbon because there is no subscript next to carbon. So taking a look at the first set, we're going to balance our potassiums. We have one on the reactant side and two on the product side. So we say one times blank equals two, which means we're going to change this to be two, which changes potassium to two. It's also going to affect our nitrogens. It's going to give us two nitrogens. It's going to give us six oxygens here, plus the three on the right. So we're going to have a total of nine. And these are all the molecules affected by adding in this coefficient. Now we're going to move down to the next one. Nitrogen is two. Nitrogen on the product side is 1. We're going to change this so we have 2 nitrogens. That's going to change this to 2. It's also going to affect our hydrogens and our oxygens. So we're going to have 2 hydrogens by adding this coefficient. And we're going to have 6 oxygens. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus the 3 here is going to give us a grand total of 9. If we check across our reactants to products, two potassiums, two nitrogens, nine oxygens, two hydrogens, and one carbon, this equation is balanced.